It is now 2024. I'm here with Cassandra from Amp RX, and she has the brown box. And you won an award at NAM, right? I did. I'm very honored to say that I'm the inaugural female entrepreneur of the year. On behalf of everybody watching, well done. Thank you. What does that mean? Like, does it, you get money or just a... What it means is that NAM gave us this space on the, on the NAM show floor for a little bit of a discount, which I very, very much appreciate. And there's a host of other benefits that came along with it, some press opportunities, exposure. Basically, they're doing it to help elevate female voices who are business owners in the products community, which is exactly what we need. Fantastic. Anyway, you make the, the brown box. Yes, we make the brown box. What does it do? It is an input voltage attenuator, and that's a really fancy way to say that you get the voltage out of the wall, which may or may not be what you think it is, and then you step it down to make it perfect for your gear. Why do we need something that does that? Well, what I would say is, you know, a lot of people give not very much thought to what's coming out of the wall, but depending on where you are, if you're in, in the United States, you can have anywhere from 115 to 130 volts at any given time. You would assume it's going to be 120. Like you just plug your phone in, you just plug your hair dry, you just like plug whatever in. It's like a mystery. What's coming out of the wall? You don't even think about it. If you're overseas, you can get 220, 230, 240, 250 sometimes. It's kind of crazy how much difference it can be. But all of this tube, like tube gear in particular, was designed to be run at a specific voltage. Every single part of it was well thought out and it's actually an art how they're put together and they run optimally at a certain voltage and you might not even find out what that voltage is until you explore it with something like this or you really dive into the data sheets of, the, of those tubes but it's it's a feel thing and it's a component preservation thing too i didn't think of the preservation that's great the way that i was thinking about it was i like to make pancakes and sometimes I like to follow the instructions and sometimes I don't. And sometimes I add too much of one thing. It's still a pancake, but it's not as good as if I made it with the instructions. Right. It's not quite right. And if you've only ever had pancakes like that your entire life, you wouldn't know. Right? And yeah. I'm thinking about pancakes now. I know. Me too. I love pancakes. Me too. You should make pancakes. I love pancakes. Uh, it, anyway, uh, sorry, no, you were going to go on pancakes. Let's go on well, pancakes. It's it's like it's like cooking though. Like I'm glad you I'm glad you brought up pancakes because everything to make music, especially with electric guitar and, and amplifiers, it's like a recipe, right? So you have your instrument, you have your amp, you have your guitar, you have your pickups, you, everybody, and your pedals. You put so much thought and and care and artistry into that entire recipe, and actually, what's beneath all of it is the electricity. So why aren't we thinking about that or doing something about it? It's like the number one ingredient. It's like turning the heat on the pan. You don't want to burn the pancakes. You don't want to burn the pancakes. So the brown box will make sure that you don't burn the pancakes in your amp. I mean, quite literally, it can stop you from burning up your amp. Joking aside, it gives you what you it gives you a reliable result and when you're gigging you need reliability when you're recording you need reliability you go from one show to the next you've got a different voltage you get a sound difference yeah feel sound everything if someone plugs something else in the voltage might change totally but with brown box you can monitor that you just walk you just walk right back and see what the screen says you always know you have to know what you're giving your ear and this helps you do it so Thank you so much for explaining that and talking to me about pancakes. I want pancakes. I want pancakes. Dun, 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 dun. I want pancakes. Dun, 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 dun. Right, there are links to Cassandra's wonderful business in the video description, and there's videos on screen for them if they want to watch more. Maybe they do. Maybe they want to go and eat pancakes. They're, they already left. They're in the kitchen. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.